uh, this uh, disease was already known to be present. It, uh, it was uh, called early on Calazar. Uh, but what was not known is what was the organism uh, causing it. It was not even clear that it was an infectious disease. So it was this uh, British uh, physician, uh, William Leishman, uh, which uh, analyzing material from uh, patients uh, in uh, India and also simultaneously by uh, the Irish uh, investigator Charles Donovan, they realized that macrophages present uh, in the spleen of these patients were heavily uh, loaded with these organisms which uh, they recognized as similar to trypanosomes. So this was the first uh, indication that this was a parasitic disease. And another very important finding in the history of uh, Leishmaniasis was made by Rogers and Nicole a few years later, uh, in which they took this material from the spleen of the patients and put into culture. And they were able to show that uh, a second form of the parasite appeared in these cultures, uh, indicating directly the existence of a life cycle and most likely an insect vector. So this actually was only decades later that uh, the first hint for which could be the insect involved in this transmission uh, was made by John Sinton when he realized that the incidence of visceral leishmaniasis in eastern India actually coincided uh, with the distribution of a specific uh, type of sandfly, the silvery sandfly. And this rapidly then led to uh, a lot of work in which this picture is what emerged, in which these regions that I already showed that we can see uh, Leishmania being uh, transmitted to humans, in each case a specific species of Leishmania is associated with a specific species of the sandfly, which is responsible for the transmission. Uh, and uh, it was only uh, uh, more recently, decades uh, later after these original observations, uh, that uh, there was a formal demonstration that sandflies could transmit Leishmania to humans, although earlier uh, it had already been detected in sandflies that had uh, uh, been feeding on um, over here in an uh, infected animal, but also uh, in humans.